We're now going to look at chipping within the snake system. And as with all things about snake, there is a system and a procedure to follow. And if you do that, it really will guarantee your clients and your pupils will have a lot more fun and enjoyment as they progress through the game of golf. The number one, let's start with the ball. The arrow on the ball, get it lined up with the launch pad. Line it up to the target. Get your clients focused on the target. That's the name of the game, getting the ball to the target and in the hole. So every reminder we can give them of that is a good one. So that's the first thing. The next thing is actually holding the golf club, holding the launcher. What we're going to do here is take the rear hand and cover the label. Keep them going through this discipline every time. Point the club vertical to the sky. It's always good at this stage as well to make sure their feet are together, just pointing at number six. That's a good discipline to start with as well. From there, bring the target hand up. Slide it down so that the thumb on the target hand runs down the yellow dots on the actual handle. Once they slide it down in there, then they can hold the, cl the club with the rest of their hand. Then they can open up the rear hand. This time, line up the shaft with the fingers, the base of the fingers. Slide it down, connect the hands together. Then the thumb can come across and go down the red set of dots as it gets into that position there. Let the arms extend. Once again, we've got this nice Y shape. People enjoy learning with those simple analogies. The shaft and the arms forming that nice shape of a letter Y. From there, they can bow forward and take the club down to the ball. Now the difference here, when there's a position, although the feet are pointing at number six, there's only the step forward towards the target. That settles a little bit more of their weight onto that target foot. In that position there, they're ready to start the swing. We then refer back to the hoop, and we simply are going to let the swing go from number eight through to number four. That will produce a nice chipping action for them. So put that into practice, simply back to eight through to four. They then produce a nice simple chipping action. Keep them going through that system and then soon they're going to be able to chip very successfully on the golf course and we all know that's going to help their scores.